I, I think a lot of the reason that people like to listen to that there is hope that when you're later in life, you can keep getting better um, if you do it, if you dose it correctly and you start Correct. to understand the um, underlying health. And I, I was a little afraid when I launched the strength program that I would get a lot of pushback on, this is a little too easy, mm. but, um, but cause only phase one is a little too easy, but I only got, uh, I only got like two or three people that, oh, that were like, give me my money back. It's too easy. This is for beginners. And I was just like, eh, you know, simple things oh, done God. savagely well. And I, you know, they'll come back around or whatever. Cause every, your workouts don't always have to feel like a punch in the head. Right. Right. Even hard. One of the best, one of the best um, like examples of that is if you look at like the CrossFit crew and I mean, I've been dabbling in it for a 10 years or so, but I'm not like fully CrossFit. And you'll see these guys and these women, they're lifting heavy shit, like really lifting. But when they have to slow it down and do like strict pull-ups or really slow deadlift, they can't because they don't have the fundamental movement or core strength or the muscle control to yeah. do it. And they're like, what's going on? 